All right, what's up, brother? Hey, uh, let's get you set up real quick. Um, nice wide stance, nice solid base, pulling the hips under. Um, I want you to pull your mace down a little bit lower so it's not too high up and pull your shoulders down and back with a nice proud chest. So we're gonna go with the elbows. My hand, my right hand's on top. I'm gonna point my finger, that's the direction I wanna go. So I'm gonna do the kinetic swing where I'm actually just gonna place it on my shoulder, but this is a motion that I want you to be doing. I'm gonna uh, place it on the shoulder, allow it to dump, and my hands are gonna come behind my neck and my elbows aren't flared out, that's just too far in, but nice and even, 45 degree. And I'm gonna rotate and start to pull it back to my center, back to my belly button. So if you watch the elbows, elbow comes in, I allow it to dump, and then pull the other elbow in on the other shoulder. So top hand, it's just a little bit easier. You can go both ways. For the exercise that you were doing, it's a, called a 10 and two, but the complete 360 is right here for the full swing. You can start on the shoulder, let it dump, rotate and pull it over. So you can use your shoulder as a tool. If, you're, if you wanna get completely comfortable with it, you can start to ease your way off the shoulder. And then you can even choke up on it, on your mace, come up higher. You can start low. When it comes back behind me, imagine I'm in like a corridor, I have glass window panes in front of me. So if it goes out, that means it's gonna come back at me. And what a lot of people do is they also chop it. So they cut the, they cut it short and try and pull it in. I wanna allow that uh, mace to go all the way up to get that full 360. You can even imagine like a heart. Your heart goes out and up, comes down onto the other side. Cool? Give it a try, brother.